Welcome again to Online Mass TV. My name is Jake's Animal. As you all know, here we have a system of simultaneous equation. But this time around, one of the equation is more or less a diverting equation. So the question is x to the power of y plus y to the power of s equal to 17 and x plus y equal to 5. Now, if I look at this question carefully, you discover that we can do without this second equation. We can only solve this independently. This second equation is just for a confirmation of the answer we're going to get from here. So what that will be the value of x and y that will satisfy this equation? Uh, again, if you're new to this channel, this is All I Must TV. If you're new here, subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video. Because at All I Must TV, we drop wonderful videos all the time for your learning, for your fun, and also to train up your brain on how to think. So let's take our solution without much waste of time. So we have solution. Good. So let's take our first equation. So we have here x to the power of y plus y to the power of x equal to 17. We think of rewriting this number 17 here. Thinking of rewriting number 17, what we put into consideration is that whatever we are going to come out with, there should be numbers that we we can raise to each other that their sum will not give us this. Now, remember, 17 can be written as 1 plus 16. That will give us 17. Again, 17 could be written as your 10 plus 10, plus 7, rather, pardon me, plus 7. That will also give us what? Your uh, 17. Again, we can write 17 as 15 plus your uh, 2. This will also give us 17. But none of this will fit into what we want here. Because here, we cannot rewrite this by putting a given number here, raise it to a given number to give us 10. We cannot write 7 as a number, then raise it to a, another number to give us 7. So let's look at two numbers that we can express in terms of their powers and their summation will give us 17. So what comes to mind, here we're going to have your 8, we're going to have 8, plus uh, 9. 8 plus 9 will give us 17, right? Now, we can rewrite this 8, and we can equally rewrite this 9. But before then, let's rewrite this side of the equation. So we have x to the power of y plus your y to the power of x equal to your 8 plus 9. What number can we write here? Between 1 and 8, raise it to another number to give us 8. Is 2, 2 to the power of 3. And 2 to the power of 3 will give us what? 8. Then we do that to 9. 9 will give us 3 to the power of 2. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So we're going to have this x to the power of y plus y to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 2. Easy. Now, if you check this carefully, you will discover that there is a pattern that is unfolding. Okay, what is that pattern? We are having x to the power of y. And here we are having y to the power of x. So look at this now. We are, and here we have plus sign. Here we are now having 2 to the power of 3. And we are now having this 3 to the power of 2. Yeah. So you discover that what we have here now is an analogy, okay, of what we have here now. In other words, mathematically, we can now write this. We can say this is equal to this and this is equal to this <laughs> easy okay so we cannot equate this to this equate this to this so let's continue on this side of the board we're going to have here this now implies that your x to the power of y is equal to your 2 to the power of 3 and your y to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 2 easy so with what we have here now, what does that mean? It means your x is equal to 2, your y is equal to 3. Again, look at it here now. y is equal to 3, x is equal to 2. Easy. Well, therefore, your x is equal to 2, 
and your y is equal to 3. Now, like I told you, your equation 2 is just for a confirmation. Okay? It's just for a confirmation. Because here we cannot use elimination method, neither can we use substitution method to handle this with what we have here now. Okay? So let's just confirm what we have here now. So from equation 2, okay, from equation 2, we have our x plus y equal to 5. What is our x? We have 2 plus 3, which is our y. That will give us 5. So we have here 5 equal to 5. So equation 2 is just for confirmation. In other words, we have our x and y to be 2 and 3. Okay. Now, if you put what we have here in this place here, your summation will give you 17. Now, to the uh, viewer or the subscriber who dropped this uh, challenge, I know you must have seen this question in some other math channel, but yeah, at least you have a detailed explanation of this. And I uh, thank you. And if you gain something, you learn something from this challenge, which you drop now, if it is clear to you, give the video a thumbs up and also just leave a comment in the comment section. Remember, this is Online Mass TV and my name is Remix Jix Animo. All of us at Online Mass TV loves you because you are the reason for this channel. Bye for now.